Hi, my name is Melinda and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the rhinestone feature in FunTime 2010. The rhinestone feature can be applied to a shape or to a text. There are a couple of ways to access the rhinestone feature. You can go to the color box and click on tools, then click on the tab that says rhinestones. You can go to the top of the screen and click on tools and then click on rhinestones. Or the easiest way is to go to the bottom of the screen and to click on the icon that looks like a rhinestone. When you do that, the rhinestone tab will automatically be selected. In this next feature, you have different stone sizes. You can go down this list and pick a stone size that you would like to use. Beside each stone size, you're going to notice the measurements in millimeters. If for any reason the stone size that you want to use is not in this box, all you need to do is highlight the area beside stone size and manually type in the size of stone you will be using. For spacing, you can do the exact same thing. You just highlight this area and type in your spacing. Underneath that, you're also going to see some images of rhinestones. These are JPEG images that are used to actually help you get a better visual of what your final result might actually look like. Under here, you also have an option to fill in your entire object with circles so that you can place rhinestones inside of them. And you also have an option to erase your original. So I'm going to erase my original squirrel word and I'm going to fill in the entire letter. So to do that, let's get a little bit of a smaller stone. I think size 4 would be good. And I'm going to click on Apply. And instantly, I have uh, a lovely template where I could now create a lovely rhinestone with the word squirrel. If I zoom into this and go into wireframe, you can see that this particular template is just made up of tiny little circles. What you basically do is send this to your die cutter to cut out. Once cut out, you basically put the rhinestones in these circles, apply it to your material, heat press it, remove the template which you can then use over and over again and you've got a lovely wording on your sweater, well your t-shirt or perhaps a, a bag that you might carry to the grocery store or even a card. There's all kinds of things you can put rhinestones on, a purse, a wallet, you name it. So I'm just going to go back into color. I'm going to undo this and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the check mark from fill and I'm actually going to remove the check mark from Erase Original. That way I keep my original squirrel and on top of it I'm going to be putting a template. So to do that all I need to do is click on Apply and as you can see I've got the uh, little circles on top of my original file. If I go into Wireframe you can see the pink lines are my original file and the little blue lines are my uh, brand new template. I'm going back into Color Mode. Let's just say I wanted to remove my file from this. I could click once off of the image and then click on the, my text file. I clicked on it twice accidentally. So click once off of the image, click once on your file and you're just going to move it up. So now what you have is you have your original file and underneath you have your template. So let's um, erase that, well undo that. And I'm just going to zoom into it again. This time what I'd like to do is keep the same stone size, but all I want to do is erase the original and the fill is off. I'm going to click on Apply. And now I have the word squirrel, just the way that I like it, uh, with the outline. But I also, let's just say, have these stones at home. So let's say I have some yellow rhinestones. If I click on this, I can see what this image might look like. Let's say I also had some blue rhinestones, and I'd like to see what it might look like if I applied the blue rhinestones into these sections. It's very easy to do. You just click on the lasso tool. Now if you do not see the lasso tool, click on the select element button on the left side of the screen and then you will see the lasso tool at the top of the screen. Click on it once to activate it and then basically all you do is you just draw around the areas that you would like to select. Once you've done that, you can click on a different color to see what it might look like. You can also do that for the other letters here. Just to give you a quick idea, I'll do that on the letter R, fill it, and we'll do that on this R as well. And fill it. And as you can see, I missed this tiny little 
um, rhinestone over here, so I'm just going to fill that. Now, that's one way of getting a good visual of what your template might look like with different colored stones, but you can also change the sizing of any portion of your template. So let's just say this letter S, I actually wanted it to be bigger, so I just move down the list and I find maybe size 11, double click on it, and instantly the stone size will get larger. Now what you can also do is maybe apply a different stone to it, maybe make it even bigger. Let's just go down the list, make it a tiny touch bigger. And there you have uh, a very simple way to play with the rhinestone maker. Now that's the basics of how it works, but I'm also going to show you an extra feature. So let's just go down to all. Let's just say you have an image such as this and you actually want the rhinestones to be an outline but you want the outline to be just inside of this. Well there is a way to do that. First make sure you select your image then you're going to go to the special effects and you're going to click on outline once and click on apply once. You now have an outline of your image so I'm going to close this and I'm just going to zoom in on the squirrel I'm going to click once off of the outline and click once back onto the outline. Now I'm going to send the outline to the back and I'm going to lock it into place. And I'm going to click on this portion here. I'm going to send that to the back and lock it into place. The reason I'm locking it into place is so that when I click on my squirrel or whatever shape you have, the outline will not be affected. It's been locked. It cannot be moved. Now I can easily apply a stone to my squirrel I'm going to pick size 4, I'm going to click on apply and I think I'm just going to click on yellow to make the, the squirrel a little bit yellowish. I'm also going to click on the um, lasso and I'm going to draw around the eye and I would like his eye to be, I don't know if there's any green in here but let's see there's green so I'll make his eye green and I'm also going to draw around his tail just a little bit go around there so it's selected and uh, for that one I'd like to make it a little bit larger maybe size 12 and as you can see over here this one has been selected so we'll just make this one size 4 again all you do basically is you double click now that I'm happy with that I can turn this off I'm just gonna move this a little bit over here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock my outline I'm going to click on the select element button once and I'm going to click on my outline once and this time I'm going to color fill it with black and this way I have a better visual of what my uh, template might even look like and this is um, actually nice this is what I was looking for an outline that goes around the image but is not outside of the image is just a little bit inside if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.